All right, so welcome to the Blackboard tutorial. Uh, in this tutorial, I'm going to walk you through all the different links that I've set up for you to help you uh, get familiar with the course and also how to use the Blackboard site. So you'll notice that when you first do uh, log into Blackboard, you will be directed uh, to the home page. Notice this is where you'll begin. And again, in the home page, this is where you're going to find a couple videos where you'll have a, an introductory video from me. And of course, this Blackboard tutorial registration that you're just watching. Uh, I also went ahead and put in a welcome <clears throat> and also just a couple reminders just to make sure that you know that the class does begin on Monday, October 19th. And also to make sure that you try to get registered with Connect uh, before the class begins. And Connect, uh, again, is the homework management system that we'll be using along with Blackboard uh, to complete the course. So again, if you have any questions about any of that, you can email me again at djuriga at stlcc.edu. Um, I've also got the course description, some Neneca policy, some technology requirements, technical skills, and I went ahead and put the e-text, the connect access information in here as well. This is what you'll be required to buy for the semester. And again, this is again what we're going to be using, uh, what you'll be using to submit all of your assignments again is through connect. All right, so you'll get all that through uh, the homepage. And then the next link I'm going to walk you through right now is going to be called the announcement link. And so let me go ahead and click that. And you'll notice that on the announcement link, I got a couple things out here. First thing, I've got the tutor information. So if at any point in time uh, during the semester you need extra help outside of the class, um, you can access an online tutor. And all the tutor information you would click is it, it's through Blackboard Collaborate. So you'd set up an appointment. And of course, here's the hours. And so this will be kept in the announcement link all semester. The other announcement I have up here is also something you should have gotten through your student emails, just to tell you that Blackboard is available. And also to review these links, which I'm walking you through right now. And also to remind you that you need to be registered with Connect on or before Monday, October 19th. Um, and again, I use the announcements regularly. So highly recommend that you check your student emails um, each week, just to make sure that you're not missing out on any important announcements. All right, the next link is my instructor, and that just again has my background information, um, also has all my contact information, and again, here's my email. Um, since I'm not on campus, or I'm very rarely on campus this semester, email me. Email is the best way to uh, get a hold of me. Um, I tend to respond to all emails. I know in the in the Blackboard site it says 48 hours, but that's just the standard. I personally usually get respond to emails within either the same day or by early the next day, so usually within 24 hours. Okay, so again, that's under my instructor. The next thing I've got is the uh, syllabus and class schedule, which I'll open up here in a second. And notice again at the bottom, I went ahead and put the textbook, which essentially is the e-text, is the connect access I've been talking about. This is what I'm talking about when you need to get registered. And I'll just kind of comment real quick on that. Um, if you do have a payment issue with it, you need to wait or uh, you have to wait until the class after the class has already started. There is a 14 day free trial access period that if you registered on Monday with their using the free access, you would get 14 days for free before you would then be required to pay. So I'm just mentioning that because again, because this is an eight week course, which is an accelerated course, you don't wanna, you can't afford to get behind. <clears throat> so this way, everybody should be registered on that Monday uh, regardless and then after 14 days you wouldn't have to pay but at least you can get in and not make sure that you don't get behind in the course <clears throat> all right so regarding the syllabus let me go ahead and open up that up that i do want to walk you through just a couple things on uh, the syllabus and a couple things you need to just make sure you check uh, obviously is make sure you're in the right course again this is acc 100 231 uh, applied accounting crn is 34 139 this is an online class. There are no campus meetings. I've got my contact information listed again here. And again, uh, let me get down to, uh, there's the uh, course requirement on the textbook. Again, more, it's the same information I've got in Blackboard. So again, that's three different places I've just shown you to make sure you know you need to get this thing. And then the other thing I just wanna walk you through is, the, is some of the policies in terms of grading. So first up is notice there's going to be three exams at 100 points each. That's going to be 60% of your overall grade. 
Then we're going to have eight quizzes and eight homework assignments. They're each weighted the same. Notice 16%, they're 80 points each in total. And then finally, there will be a project worth 40 points. That's going to count 8%. Total points of your overall grade is going to be out of a total of 500 top possible points. So again, on the exams, remember everything on here will be submitted through Connect. So all your exams and all these are listed in the, the class schedule, which I'll show you in a moment. And again, you'll be taking those online and connect. Same thing with your quizzes. All your quizzes are typically objective online quizzes using connect. Uh, just one thing to note on the quizzes, you do have two opportunities on each quiz. So just make sure that if you mess up one time, you do, you do get another chance and all the dates are listed in the syllabus. Uh, same thing on the homework. Again, it's weighted the same as the quizzes. Uh, and so again, you're gonna be eight of them and you get unlimited attempts on these. You just have to make sure that you submit these by the due date and that's as well as the homework. I'm sorry, as well as the quiz and the exams. Always make sure you get those done by the due date because again, uh, late assignments are not accepted. And then finally, there's the project uh, information. You'll get that after you complete chapter six and that's a comprehensive problem uh, that walks you through the accounting cycle. Attendance, make sure that you're attending, you're submitting your assignments. That's how I will track your attendance. Uh, you want to make sure that you don't get uh, you don't get purged out of the course because they do check attendance. So if you do get marked absent because you're not submitting uh, its assignments, then uh, that could be a problem. And then you have to you know go through some some paperwork just to get back into the course. All right, uh, and I do believe I had the drop day in this class. It is November 25th. You can withdraw uh, without a grade on your transcript if something happens up to that point. Okay, and then everything else you can read through and then down below I've got the class schedule. So you notice the pace of the course uh, is accelerated. Notice um, again, first, first week is chapter one, next week chapter two, then chapter three and then notice right there you have for your first exam. Note that even during the week of your first exam, you're still starting a new chapter. So there's where it's a, it's a little bit quicker than a normal class. So again, watch this schedule, look how it goes. Then you get to chapter five, you have chapter six, and then you have another exam. And then notice after that, again, the project will be available during that same week when you take exam two. And then also you'll be starting chapter 12 that week. Note though with the project, the project's not gonna be due until uh, December 13th, but it will be made available on November 30th. So November 30th, you'll have an exam and chapter 12, you have to be getting into. And then at that point, you can see we're getting into week seven and week eight. And then we'll do uh, chapter 13. And then the last week of class or the uh, December 7th to the 13th is week eight. And then the next week is called final exam week. That's when you'll take exam three, which is just over the two chapters. So study the schedule and then let me know if something doesn't make any sense, and of course, if you have uh, any questions. All right, so let me get back. So now I'm back again, this is back in Blackboard on the syllabus class schedule. Uh, next thing I've got again is the, uh, the Connect registration, which is right here, I just opened that up. And again, I've got all the instructors on instructions on this, it's pretty simple. Um, just open up this PDF. You can also click, click Connect registration, that'll take you right to the website, and it just says enter your email and uh, you can get registered that way. So make sure you do this again before Monday, October 19th. Uh, the next thing I've got is just a Connect website link. So for that, if you just click this, this will just take you right and connect directly from Blackboard. Course readiness, once you've done all this, click this. This is a bonus point thing. So this will tell you, tell me that you've read all this, you, got, you read the syllabus, you're gonna get all the course materials, you click agree. Once you do that, you get five bonus points don't miss out on this one. That's called the course readiness agreement. All right, a few more things. Uh, learning modules, very important. This is uh, the learning modules. This is all of my lecture recordings. All my videos are contained in these modules. So essentially, this is how I, I teach the course in terms of my lectures is all through the learning modules. Open up any module. You'll find it's got the overview, what you need to be doing for each chapter. It's got all my videos. All my videos are, are rerouted the link through YouTube, so they're very easy to access. There's a lecture video, textbook illustration video, and even homework illustration video. So all the homework assignments that you will be submitting uh, through Connect, 
uh, I've actually already commented, I've already made videos on these to assist you. Those are all in these learning modules. So again, all the modules are set up the same. Go back to the link. So notice I've got every module set up for every chapter we're gonna be doing. And so I will constantly remind you to please get into this module, these modules and watch these videos. The intent is to help you pass the course. All right, one more big link here, uh, connect assignment link. So um, there's multiple ways to access connect, but I would suggest you go through the connect assignment link in Blackboard because once you do it that way, if you click chapter one homework, it's gonna take you right into connect. If you do it this way, what happens is, is the gradebook in connect is paired up with Blackboard gradebook. And so once you've submitted the, either the chapter one quiz or the homework or the chapter one quiz, um, your gradebook in Blackboard will be updated automatically. So if you like that feature, do it this way. Um, that way, to, just to ensure that your points are being recorded in Blackboard. If you log in to connect directly and do not use this connect assignment link through Blackboard, then I have to manually input uh, your connect gradebook and sometimes that might take an extra week. So sometimes students get a little nervous about that. So use this connect assignment link in Blackboard to submit all of your assignments and that will ensure that your gradebook in Blackboard get updated, up, gets updated in real time. Now, one thing you may come across is, is these, they call, I call them smart book videos for each chapter. These are all optional. They are no, there's no point value there, but they do have extra things to help you read through the chapter and help learn, learn the content. So these are optional, but I went ahead and included these in the link so that you've got these in Blackboard as well. Okay. Everything else, I've got lecture notes, if you need to print out some lecture notes, PowerPoints, if you wanna print out the PowerPoints before you watch the lecture videos, um, take some notes on them. And then I've got all the solutions that go along with the e-text. And then finally, here's the link, the last one. Uh, you can check your grade as you go. But remember, if you access all your Connect assignments through Blackboard using this link, your gradebook will then update automatically once you've submitted those. Okay. I think that's about it. I'll just wrap this up. I'll go back to my link. So again, even after reviewing this, if you have some questions or concerns about the course, you know, just email me. And again, my email is at djeriga at stlcc.edu. And then once again, remember the course does begin on Monday, October 9th, and that'll wrap up this portion of the Blackboard tutorial.